So mark up. First thing you should do when you're reading these questions, logically decide what you're supposed to do. If it's a mark up, what's your price going to do? Go up. It's going to go up. So this money goes up. So your answer should be more than what you started with. If you're getting less than what you started with, stop. You did something wrong. Okay? Sometimes the answer choices, you'll have two that are more and two that are less. And if you can just figure out that it's supposed to be more, then you can eliminate two answer choices. Mark down. Makes the money go down. down. Yep. Now, it's not going to, huh, well, in the book it does. It's not going to like say, hey, this is a markup. Hey, this is a markdown. Markups are going to be called taxes, tips, gratuity. Exactly, hang on. Gratuity is another name for tip. Gratuity is another name for tip, but you don't usually get to pick how much gratuity you leave. The gratuity is sometimes automatically added when you have like parties of more than five. Like when you go to Papa Do's, it'll say like at the bottom of your receipt, Gratuity of 15% is automatically added to parties of eight or more. It's because it takes more people to help those big parties, so they automatically add gratuity. Markdowns are going to be discounts, coupons, sale items. If something is on sale, is the price cheaper or more expensive? Cheaper. Should be cheaper. So if you're working out a problem and you're trying to figure out how much something is when it's on sale, if you end up with more than what it was, stop. You've done something wrong. Okay? So just logic. If it's a mark down, I should end up with something less. If it's a mark up, I should end up with something more. Got it so far. Okay. We are going to use one way to do this. We're going to use a proportion. Okay. The way we are going to set up our proportion, we know that for a proportion, this is 100. Because that's the 100%. This is the percent of whatever we're finding. This is going to be my original amount. We did use change up top, but now we're not doing change. This is going to be the part. Like it's a piece. It's either going to be the tax or the, the discount, whatever. Okay, I went to Bath and Body Works yesterday. Oh, yeah. Bath and Body Works bought a candle. The candles were twenty-five dollars a piece. I don't pay full price for hardly anything. I used a twenty percent off coupon. Okay. Now, the first thing I need to do is set up the proportion. Set up pro. Portion. Okay. So when I set it up, this is a hundred. What goes here? The original. How much was the candle? Twenty-five. So it goes here. What goes above a hundred? Twenty. Okay. Step two, I'm going to cross multiply. Step two, I'm going to cross multiply. So here I do 20 times 25. 
25 times 20, 0, 0, 1, 500. And then what's the next thing I do after cross multiply? Yep. So step three is to divide. So I have to divide by 100. 500 divided by 100 is? 5. So this is 5. Okay. Now, last thing you have to do, and this is the part we're going to mess up on, and that's okay because it just happens, because we forget. If it's a marked down, you have to subtract from the original. If it's a marked up, you have to add to the original. So markdowns, subtract, markups, we have to add. So this $5, was I getting a discount or was I paying taxes? Markdown. markdown. So this goes down. This is a markdown. Markdown. So what was the original price? 25 minus the 5 equals $20. So this 5 goes here. This is the part we're going to forget. Think logically. If it's 20% off, the final price is not 5. This is not going to be our answer. We have to either add it or subtract it at the end. 